Hi, this is Virginia White of Earth and Fire, and you're listening to The Sweet Spot on WBAI. Hi, this is Ruth Pointer of the Pointer Sisters, and you're listening to The Sweet Spot on WBAI 99.5 FM. It's the incredible Mr. Roy Ayers. Hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Tune in to The Sweet Spot with Baby K and DJ Kyle McNeil. Tell them what we do, Kyle. Every Thursday at 10 p.m., we will be featuring some of the best and soulful sounds for in-depth interviews with your favorite artists, special theme shows, and, you know, guest hosts. Yeah, it's a pretty good time, ain't it? Yep, because we're The Sweet Spot. Thursdays, 10 p.m. only on WBAI 99.5 FM, streaming online at WBAI.org. Listener-sponsored community radio. But so many people. So many. Have recorded with me. I uh-huh. I've done 91 albums. Mm. Oh, wow. 91 albums. Oh. <laughs> I've done 91 <laughs> albums. I, I could, and man, you're not a, tired. You're still going. Music keeps you young. I, it's a soul it, vitamin. It really keeps keeps you young. Uh huh. If you can if you can stand it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because it's 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 kind of rough. You so know. yeah, how did you how did you like? What's your recipe for? Because the business of music, I mean, you have a longevity, and I think it's just due to your pure love of the the art itself. Well, but love, how did you deal with the kind of like BS of the industry? For the love of music, that that, that was important. The the important thing that the love of me, of the music, it was very 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 important to me. Um, because of the the love of, I mean, when, when Lionel Hampton came into my life, my God, that seemed like that changed the whole, the whole mm-hmm. feeling, the whole feeling of mm-hmm. everything, mm-hmm. Uh, everything just it, it became mm-hmm. broad and broader. It was wonderful, mm-hmm. and uh, I, I, I just continued to to keep the same groove. Mm, nice. I keep the same groove. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 It's it's a uh, very important. Ah. Ubiquity. You, yeah. Thank you. Ubiqu- ubiquity. Right. Ubiquity. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't even say it. I love that word. Thank you. What is the meaning of that word? Uh, it's it, everywhere, it right? It should be everywhere at the same time. It's beautiful. Uh, 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 a manager uh, that w- my manager was at that time was Myrna Williams, mm-hmm. and uh, she said, "Why don't you call it album Roy Ayers Ubiquity?" And I said, "What the hell does that mean?" <laughs> <laughs> and so she said. It means to be everywhere at the same time. And I said, oh, that's a good idea. It's beautiful. Want, yeah. And the way, I mean, I can't pronounce it right now because I'm so excited because right. we're just saying it and having sure. a good time. Ubiquity, yeah. Ubiquity. Yeah. Ubiquity. That's right. Yes. And you're ubiqui- we have the ubiquitous right Right, right, right. <laughs> Yes, that's right. In the studio with us. Yes, here on the sweet spot. I love the way that, that it sounds, the way that it rolls off the tongue uh, is very, very beautiful indeed. So we... Um, we have a song here that was an unreleased track, I believe, because you did a Virgin Ubiquity 2, unreleased recordings from 1976 to 81. Do you have a lot of unreleased material still? Are you holding out on us? Well, it, we released it, um, it was on a ho- holiday, Holiday, right? yeah. We're going we're gonna to play it holiday. But I wanted to ask you, do you have like, like other stuff that you haven't released yet? I have a lot of stuff. You do? Are you holding out on us? I have a, a lot of stuff. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I, I have well. A lot of stuff that I haven't released at all, you know. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Still from that same era, from the 70s and stuff? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All the stuff, yeah. Oh, wow. Really uh-huh. great stuff, you know. You're so. a busy guy. Well, I'm trying to be uh-huh. busy. <laughs> I'm trying to be a bug, you know. Yes, daddy bug. A yeah, daddy bug. Daddy bug. <laughs> oh, you got you got that now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know about yes, the daddy I know, bug. I know about the daddy bug. That's what, that was that would be called we called my uh my father, Daddy Bug. Oh yeah. that's so sweet. Um so and that was the title of, of one of your records. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's awesome then. Um so Holiday uh was again a very important political song too. Right. And that came out of the movement to make Martin Luther King Day a holiday, right? right? Exactly. Wasn't that spearheaded by uh Stevie Wonder? That uh, movement? Uh, no. that, uh, Terry Wells. Terry uh-huh. Wells. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, uh-huh. Uh, organized that. But there was Terry Wells and uh-huh. uh, Ronald. I forget what guy's his last name. Ronald. Uh-huh. But, but was, uh, he was on Philadelphia International Records. Oh, also a great label. But uh-huh. that, that was uh, their work on that. 
Uh huh. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, so holiday, yeah, holiday. We got to have a holiday, you know. We yeah, we yeah. have to have a holiday. Hello, yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah, <laughs> exactly. I mean, we need a whole lot of holidays. Exactly. So, um, this is a song about um, even Martin Luther King, the the great humanitarian, and um, I just want to ask you about. Um, I mean, we've come. There's still, what I want to say is there's still a long way to go in terms of race relations. Oh, yeah, of course. What role do you think music has in repairing race relations? In repairing? Yes, yeah, <clears throat> in healing that, in healing that. It's just, it just it's, it's, <clears throat> it's, it's, it, time will come, time, the time will come mm -hmm. when, when everybody gets, to, gets it together. It will be together. It mm -hmm. will be either together or not together. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I think it was going to be together. Yeah, that's what I prefer to think about it, too. That's right. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. You we're know. going through a little stress and strain, but I feel like we're just, it's kind of like how you're ha you like you go through the pain of, of giving birth until you rise to another level. Right. That's what I think is happening. Because uh -huh. there's a great change that is happening right now. You're right. And I prefer to think that we are evolving to that next level. Right. So I certainly hope so. Uh, it's, uh, let me let me explain you, to you. Yeah, break it down. Uh, red is for the eastern sun towards a new day just begun. Red is for the blood we shed. Red is for our millions dead. Red is for our liberation, fighting for our own black nation. Now, black is for our motherland. Black is for the proud black man. Black is for the beautiful face of a proud and beautiful race. Black is for the soil we need so our nation we can feed. Now, green is for the seed of freedom. Planted in our minds. Green is for that seed to grow, completely free from western vines. Green is for the fertile fields. Seeds from fertile minds will yield. Red, black, and green, if you think about it, you'll know, you know what, what I, I mean. mean. Oh, That's right. <laughs> so, so I want to um, I wanna just, uh, <laughs> that was amazing. Thank yeah. you for that. Yeah, yeah. But I also want to, um, like, I just want to reflect on that a little minute. So, sure. so, so this is going to mean, like, some, obviously, like, I'm an outside looking in because I'm not African American, so it's gonna mean one thing to me. Yeah. It's gonna mean one thing to Kyle and OP because they're African American of one generation. It's gonna mean another thing to Alicia who's Latina. Exactly. Right. And it's gonna mean another thing to, to you, you. Right, right. because you're of a different generation. What did that song mean to you then, and how do you feel? Like, what does it mean to you it was now? A, it was very uplifting. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very uplifting as I came into it. I, I, I. I uh, the person that I worked with with, with Abiola, Abiola Sinclair, mm -hmm. she was a, a very spiritual uh, person, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. and she uh, she also helped write searching and a couple of songs with me. Beautiful. And she was really wonderful, inspirational, mm -hmm. very inspirational. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and uh, uh, she, she passed on. Everybody died. It, and I was with you know, uh -huh, uh -huh, everybody, uh -huh. but you know everybody goes, you know, but everybody yeah, exactly. We're just <laughs> passing through here. <laughs> We're just visiting this planet. <laughs> I understand, right? That, that's right. That, that they leave, but you uh -huh. know, but you know, there's still something to to their essence of the absolutely. Of the, they just being. change form. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. You, you, you got it yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, girl. Yeah. Okay then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, yes. But it's really wonderful to to. to experience people in life to see them to see them oh it's so wonderful to when you pass the people mm -hmm. that, that pass by you exactly that pass through, uh -huh. oh my god it's wonderful it's beautiful that it connections is. that we can make yes. you know as we travel yes. through this this planet Exa exactly you know, this universe thank you it's really special absolutely did music grab you right did it just kind of choose you? That's what I'm kind of getting the vibe the, the music grabbed me that's mm. right of course the music just grabbed me and I became a I uh, became a vibist with uh, with the Herbie Man and right. Ch Chico uh -huh. Hamilton mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh, and some uh -huh. of the great jazz jazz, jazz artists. Jazz artists. Mm -hmm. yeah, but it was it was such a wonderful uh, thrill to, to have played with so many people mm -hmm. that were that were you know so much better than me, and I feel like mm -hmm. I had to strive to get right. It pushes get, you. It's important. Course. It really uh -huh. did. It really uh -huh. did. It, it really is. Was and it was quite a live scene in Los Angeles at that time, right? Yeah, that's right. Because we hear a lot about New York. You know, we hear Harlem, Harlem, Harlem at that time, but not um, not so much. I mean, I guess it's because we're in New York, but um, I don't hear so much about like that whole scene, like that Central Avenue kind of scene. Right. But there was a lot of stuff Central happening. Central Avenue. Right? You know about that? You know about uh, Central a Avenue? Little bit, a little Oh my bit. God! I was very <laughs> close to Central Avenue. You know, uh -huh. it was about, about about eight blocks from 
okay. my God, Central, my God. Uh huh, uh huh. So right. that was an inspiration for you, right? Because people oh, were just yeah. like doing their thing. Oh, yeah? uh, yes, that's right. You've been listening to The Sweet Spot on WBAI 99.5 FM. For more episodes, articles, and behind the scenes info, please check us out online at thesweetspotnyc.com. That's thesweetspotnyc.com. Thanks for listening. Stay musical.